So, we're down here, we jumped on the other side. There's my habit trail, right? So, all of the ground mixed industrial waste, recycled material is coming over, and then it drops down into that bin. So, we can see it swirling around inside there. And basically what is happening in that bin is it is stockpiling all of that shredded material because it's going to drop down and it's going to come into here. But, but when it comes into here, it has to come in a very measured specific quantity because on these two lines, it is going to get injected with the borates. And you can see the two injection lines, one there and one there. So the material is coming out of that stockpile bin in a very measured quantity, dropping down, coming through this system. And you can see we have a couple bales. Those are the borates and all of the additives, fire retardant, that is going into the cellulose. And you can see it's dropped down right in there. And then that stuff is dropping down into that pump. And it goes up onto that line, comes around, and then splits, and then injects into this line and that line that are coming from that large tank. So, and then of course, this, goes up and over. So let's follow the process. All right, so war eights got added down there, stuff went up. Now it gets put into these two hoppers here. And those hoppers there are again, like a lot of that we've seen. They're just doing a very controlled release of that mixture and you can see it's dropping down into this conveyor and you can see there's a little bit of steam coming off yeah so steam is getting introduced in this conveyor you can definitely see it on the end here we'll walk around and so the steam i'm told it basically expands the cellulose fibers and it just makes for a more aggressive bond between the borates and all the admixtures to the cellulose fibers. And uh, so, yeah, you can see steam coming off of that. So there's a little bit of um, higher moisture content in what's happening here. <clears throat> and then you can see it drops down and it's basically getting sucked up by these two pipes down below. And those two pipes are basically feeding those two lines there. And so those go up and over and feed these two hoppers, which are then dropping material into this large dryer. Yeah, so we wet it down there, mixed it, or added some steam. We mixed it, added some steam. Now we're going over here and we're drying all of that material because we're virtually at the end of the line and we're gonna go over here and see how they bag it. But basically this is a giant oven, hopper, whatever, heater but it's taking that whole admixture after the steam was injected and now reducing that moisture content. So let's go see the bagger. All right, so we were over there. That's the machine that does the drying. Then we talked about the pipes going up. So this pipe goes up. Feed that hopper. You can see all the cellulose admixture there, all dried out, being placed in the hopper, drops down, there's an auger down at the bottom, feeding the bale. So 
that's doing nothing but shaping the bale. And you can see how much it expands. All right, so they're trying to put a very specific amount in there. And the way they get tested is, you can see right here, it goes across there and it gets weighed. And so they know exactly how much is going into each and every bale. So, see here. So, those bales now, they get weighed, and then they come over here and they get recompressed before they get packaged. They get compressed to about a nine pound um, density. And that is totally for shipping purposes so that they can maintain, you know, not shipping a whole lot of air. And you can see the paper is getting put in there and then basically getting heat sealed and turning each one of those into a bale. You can see it get sealed right there. And here's the uh, you know paper feeder there and there. You have the one that's printed and the one that's not printed. And then you can see there's the bales or bags as they call them. I've heard guys talk about them as bales. Uh, so these are 25 pounds. They can make about 400 bags an hour here. Typical truckload is about a thousand bags, so it takes about two and a half hours of manufacturing to uh, fill a tractor trailer, and they can get about 10 trailers a day. And so those follow down, and we have a second line here, and so they're merging right there. And uh, we'll go around the machine. This is just a bagger on the other side. You can see it there. So we'll jump around the other side and uh, we'll watch them get palletized. I don't know about you, I can watch this kind of processing all day. It's just really neat. I know it would get old eventually, but <coughs> this is just the other line.